Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Ghosts from Letter to You. Thanks very much to subscribe star Ralph Stern for the request.
welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're going to do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song is in the key of B major. Tempo is roughly 1, 2, 4 BPM. And for this one, you're going to put a capo on fret 4. Okay, so it's in standard tuning. Now, Nils is going to be playing on uh, with capo fret 2 and just do slightly different voicings, chord voicings. And Steve also plays on <coughs> capo fret 2, but he's in open E tuning. So open E tuning is E, <coughs> B, E, G sharp, B, and E. So he's basically tuning his... Um, so I kind of worked this all out from the Saturday Night Live performance that he did um, a few months back, uh, which is brilliant. So give me an idea of what everyone's doing, and I assume that they're doing the same sort of thing on the record. One thing to bear in mind is, well, there's a lot more strumming on the record than there is on the a Saturday Night Live uh, performance. That's kind of the only one we've got to go with at the moment. Um, Yes, there's a lot more strumming, I think, on the record, whereas there's more, Bruce is doing a kind of more picking and, and mixing it up a lot, to be fair. He's doing something slightly different uh, and a lot of the verses and choruses. So, so let's go through the chords first. So what we've got, chord wise, G5, little finger, third fret B, third finger, third fret low E, block the A string out, so just four strings ringing there. C add nine, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, third fret A, and then open G. Okay, so that's C add nine there. And then we've got um, middle finger, second fret G. It's strung from the D, all the A strings. Works really well. Com these very common Bruce kind of chord voicings. So that's D5. Also got C sus two. Third finger, third fret A. Block the D string out. Open G and then uh, third fret B. Okay, so that's C sus two. And then we've also got in the middle eight section, that cool little bit only happens once in the song. It's a C over G chord. So first finger, first fret B, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, third fret low E, uh, low e strings. So you're only playing four strings there. Three, two, zero, one. Block the A string out. That's a C over G. You take your first and second fingers off, play up to the B string, block the A. That's just a standard G chord, just slightly different uh, look to what you normally play a G. That's how you normally play a G. So, yeah, so just kind of six chords there. Again, um, the tabs for Steve and Neil's parts as well, because the idea is they've, they're all very similar, but they all kind of combined and different kind of, kind of tones and chord voicings combined to make it sound really thick and kind of just, you know, stadium ready. So it just sounds really, really good. So yeah, you can get those from Subscribe Star. Files are sent out to your email address on the third of every month, and also jsmusicschool.co.uk. So you can get guitar pro format or PDF format as well, and also the backing tracks available as well. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, I had fun making the backing track for this one. It's really good. There's just so much energy in this song, I think. So there, the six chords. So uh, what I'm going to do is put the song structure up on the screen now. So that hopefully that will make you make sense of everything. The song structure is always in the description. Um, and then uh, any chords in brackets means there's one or more chords in that particular bar. Okay, so you're going to start off the song. Uh, the first four bars is just rest because it's the drums playing. Okay, and what we've got is kind of the first four bars of the first verse. I'm going to keep that kind of, think of that as a separate section to the rest of the um, first verse. So I'll show you what I mean. So, the, so now in bar five, which is the first bar of the first verse, and that's just a, a rest. Bar six, the first, uh, or bar two of the first verse, sorry, going to be coming in on the and of four. So it's going to go like this with a G5, one, two, three, four, and up. Okay, this is bar two of the first verse, okay? One, two, three, four, and up, down up. And these are their semi quavers or uh, 16th notes. And now we've got this uh, two bar riff, which we're going to go through a lot in this song. So G5, downstroke. <laughs> Another downstroke, and then C add nine, up, and then up, down, up. So strumming pattern wise, it's the one we've used a lot. One, two, and three, and four, and. It's one crotchet, a quarter note, six quavers or eight notes, one of them's tied, start off beat three. So down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and four, and. And then the next bar, downstroke, C add nine, G5, up, down. D5, up, up, down, up. So rhythm-wise here, this is um, bar four of the first verse. They're all quavers or eighth notes, half a beat each. 
of a tie on beat three. Uh, start beat three. So you've got this one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, this, up, down, up. Okay, so the first four bars of the first verse, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and a one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Again, play around with uh, dynamics as well. So what we're going to do here, uh, this is now, I call this kind of the main four bar verse riff, okay? Uh, so in the first verse there, you can see that's done three times, okay? So you've got to do G5 for two bars, one and two, a bit of palm muting as well, down strokes, one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and a... And then that starts that kind of two bar riff that we had before. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a... And do those two bars that we had in, um, we had earlier. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, cool. So um, that four bar riff again, it's got G5 palm muting downstrokes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one, two and three and four and down, up, down, up. So yeah, um, again, don't forget Steve will be doing some other stuff in his open G tuning and Neil's as well. Just add those layers and so it makes it sound awesome. So those four bars, you do three times. So what I'll do is I'll play the whole of the first verse, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down strokes here, G5, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, four. And then you do that another two, those four bars in another two rounds. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is the first Chorus. Okay, so the first and the second chorus structure-wise exactly the same. Okay, um, so they're quite it's quite long, but sounds amazing. So what you've got C add uh, nine, that classic strumming pattern: one crotchet down stroke or uh, quarter note, and then six quavers or eighth notes, half a beat each, tie on beat three. One, two, and three, and four, and so you do four bars of that. Cool riff. Oops. Sounds really cool this bit. I think this is what's happening. So all quavers are eight notes, half a beat each, a tie on beat three again. It's so gonna do um, G5 and pick the E, up stroke on the G, then down stroke on the B. One and two. And then I think there's a hammer on grace note. It's a split second grace note two to three, and then up, up, up. One and two and three and four and, that's how I play that. So one and two and three and four and, so that's the C, so that's two chord, that second chord. Down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Again, you can do strict alternate picking as well. Just feels a little bit weird for this type of riff. So you do that kind of really cool riff twice, okay? Uh, after those four bars of C add nine. Then you do another four bars of C add nine. Two, three, four, and G5. Down, up, C add nine. And two bars of D5. And those four bars you do again. So G5, C add nine. And two bars of C at nine. Two bars of D five. Of course, it sounds yeah. It's, again, it's a brilliant song. Okay, uh, and obviously you've got Steve and Nils's parts uh, behind that as well. So yeah, first that's the first and the second chorus. Okay, so second verse. Basically, what you're doing is that four bar riff we did three times at the end of the first verse. You're going to do it four times now. Yeah. yeah, so let's just go through that. So yeah, you've got the one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four and one. Let's do that four times. So that's the second verse. Um, now in the uh, third verse, so second chorus, exactly the same as the first. Third verse, um, you're going to be doing that um, three times, that four bar riff, and then you stop. 
the two bars. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. So this is the um, so you've done the second chorus and the third verse. You've got the three the four bar riff uh, three time. And then basically on the fourth time, you're just going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's G5. Um, so they've cut the kind of third verse short and just slightly different. Uh, just sounds really good. So, yeah, so the third verse is four rounds, uh, three rounds of that four bar riff. And just do a G5, stop it dead. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool. So then the third chorus, um, what you're going to do here is basically the first half of the first and second choruses. Again, double check with the song structure. So the third chorus um, is basically you got the you got the down down up up down up bar two bar three bar four and then. Four bars of C add nine again. Okay, and then now you're in the middle eight section. So the middle eight, this is maybe piano. Uh, again, I'm not Roy Bittan, but I just did a sort of simple, simplified version of what Roy is doing in the backing track. I uh, got as close as I kind of possibly could work out. Yeah, so the middle eight, basically, you're just going to do a G5, let it ring for one bar. One, two, three, four. Then you've got a three bar rest, okay? Uh, so that's the first four bars of the middle eight. And then you've got a six bar rest. So I like to split it up into sections. A six bar ref, rest. And then you've got, so this is, um, so you've got the first four bars of the middle eight. One, two, three, four, and three bars. The next eight bar section. On bars seven and eight, you do this. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. That makes sense. So this is where, um, sounds really cool. So you've got the C over G. Um, this is bar seven of this kind of eight bar section within the middle eight. Um, so you're gonna do uh, on the end of three, one, two, three, and then upstroke on C uh, over G. Take your first and second fingers off, do the G. And then C over G, upstroke. And then let ring for the, um, the next bar. Yes, yeah, so you start off the middle eight, G5, two, three, four, and then three bars of rest, rest, and six bars of rest, and then you've got one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Cool, and then you've got this kind of build up section, which is a two bar riff times four. Again, keep double checking with the song structure. And it sounds like there's some picking going on in the record, really subtle. Um, so what you've got, this is uh, four rounds of the last, so um, G5, C sus2, and then C sus2 to D5, okay? And the picking goes like this. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, up. This is how I'd like to do it. So low E string, then the B and the G, and the G5, then you have to C sus2, down, up, up, down, and then up, up, and the C sus2. So it's kind of two rounds of that C sus2 riff, then D5, up, up, up. Timing wise, these are all quavers, but there's a few ties in there. Quavers are eighth notes, half beat each, but tie on start of beat three and uh, end of the bar. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and you do that four times. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and do that one more time. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, up. Cool. So then you're into the fourth chorus. So the fourth chorus is like you're doing the second half of the first and the second choruses, okay? So you've got, just got the G5, C add nine, two bars of D5, and those four bars you do twice. And C add nine, two bars. D5, two bars. Cool, then you're in the awesome outro, okay? So the outro, uh, the first four bars are just drums, max on the drums, 
And then you've got this four bar riff, which you're basically doing to the rest of the song. And obviously it's all layered up. So you've kind of got the organ coming in, the saxophone coming in, and then the rest of the band. So you've basically got this four bar riff uh, four times to start with after four bars of rest. So max, four bars um, of max, and then you've got this core cool riff. <laughs> Cool. So what I do here, I like to do the first bit downstroke, so I don't really know why. Uh, you could do strict alternate picking if you want. So I'm going third fret low E, open A, second fret uh, A, third finger, third fret A. These are all quavers or eighth notes, half a beat each. One and two and. Then in the start of beat three, it's tied, so you let it ring for another half a beat. One and two and three. And they're gonna kind of do an upstroke. You can leave your little finger there if you want. Up, down, up. You basically want to strum G, D, and A strings. Up, down, up, like that. One and two and three and, oops, and four and. So that's bar one and also bar three. One and two and three and four and. They do a down stroke on that uh, note again. The next bar, one. Middle finger, second fret A, up, down. And three up, downs, just with open strings. And then th third finger, third fret, low E. Okay, that's bar two, this four bar outro riff. One and two and three and four. You split it up into bars, and then link it all together. So if you put bars one and two together, you got this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, sounds really cool. And then bar one, same as bar three. Up, down, up. And bar four starts off very similar to bar two. Down, up, down, up, same as before. Then there's a tie, and then up, down, up. The bar four again. One and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Cool, so then put the whole of the four bar riff together. Again, with the rest of the band coming in at different stages, it just sounds brilliant. So, so outro, four bars of drums, then four rounds of this four bar riff. Again, so the whole four bars, bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. So that four times, and then get people, and then the four kind of big band with everyone's in, uh, you're going to do that for six rounds. So you do the same four bars for six rounds. And obviously you've got Steve and Nils doing slightly different stuff over the top. So I have transcribed all Bruce, Steve and Nils parts so, uh, in Guitar Pro. So don't forget you can get that from Subscribestar. Files are sent out on the third of the month uh, to email. And then obviously um, JS Music School. You can just go into the shop if you just want to download it directly to your computer. The Guitar Pro format. PDF format and obviously backing track as well. I think I've done from this in this video I've done from today I've done 55 backing tracks now. So it's just cool. So you can see the full list on there as well. Okay, yeah, so basically outro, four bars for rest, four rounds of this four bar riff, and then the rest of the band comes in and you've got another six rounds. It does fade out on record. So um, I've just done it um, six rounds of this and then end. On a G5. So Bruce will probably do lots of different live endings when we eventually uh, can see him live again. So um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Any comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And please subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already. Any questions, feel free to ask if you want to email me about subscribe star or how to get the files or, or anything else. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. I love this song. It's really good. I had good fun making the backing track as well. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.
you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the Subscribestar page or my website, jsmusicscore.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.